So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back to some Master League action. We are going to continue this series, you know, up until PES 2017 is out. Gamescom isn't, you know, far away. Um, and then we'll sort of see what happens. But hey, we might as well continue it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to win the league, sort of with the way things are going. Um, but yeah, we're going to simulate the Galatasaray game here because we won the first leg by five goals to one. There's no way... Well, there's no point, really, playing Galatasaray again. Uh, otherwise, you know, what's the point? I'm just wasting time. So, yeah, just to show you guys what happened in that first leg, if you haven't seen it, uh, we'll push up here. But you can see it. Yeah, 1-5-1 one, one, away from home. It does mean that we'd have to lose basically 5-0. I mean, 4-0 wouldn't be enough for them because we have five away goals. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, just simulate that matchup in a short while. So this is the team we're going to go for. I've, uh, you know, obviously put the likes of Pogba and Lukaku, Kavahau all on the bench. Pogba now is a Man United player, ladies and gentlemen. So this officially is 100% correct. How about that? We knew it was going to happen before it even did. But yeah, that's what we'll go for. We've rested a lot of players uh, for the Everton game that is about to come. We'll go ahead and skip it. Okay, so we ended up drawing one all. Fine, that's perfect. We won 6-2. So Real Madrid advancing against Bayern Munich. St. Petersburg winning their match. Barcelona knocking out Arsenal. Wolfsburg beating Atletico Madrid. Roma beating St. Etienne. Chelsea defeating Marseille. And PSG beating Liverpool. So Lukaku has uh, picked up a new nickname. They've called him the Can Do. The Can Do. Lukaku Can Do. Brilliant. So here's a quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen. Man United against PSG. That's going to be a tough game for us. PSG are no joke. In PES 2016, Real Madrid against Chelsea should be a good game. St. Petersburg against Roma and Barcelona taking on Wolfsburg. Well, it looks like Memphis is close to breaking through, so give them a bit of playing time. So they've actually received an offer for Wayne Pooney from St. Petersburg. Let's have a look how much they're offering for him. 13 million. It's an embarrassment, to be honest. Absolutely shocking. I mean, what what kind of a deal is that? It's not good enough. I'm going to increase the transfer fee. Not that it matters too much, but we'll go ahead and pick the side now that is going to face Everton. Okay, so I think this is all going to go for De Gea, Godin, Bazur with Gaia, Cavahal, Pogba. Odegaard's fully up for it, so we'll give the young lad, you know, a go in the middle of the park. Only 19 there. Rooney behind Taliska today. And then Griezmann on the left, Memphis on the right. And I probably should start Lukaku because he's playing against Leverton, his former team. But, hey, Talisca has been banging in the goals and Lukaku's not up for it completely. So, we'll go for that. We'll probably change it up. There is Everton's team. But, uh, yeah, strong, strong favourite that will win this one as always. But it could be uh, a little bit more of a tough game. The Evertonian sometimes pulling out the stops. But, yeah, let's dive into it. Leighton Baines looking for Pinars. He's uh, fed it up the line nicely. Mazur's going to have to come across here. Did he get the ball? I don't know. The referee's played the advantage either way. It hasn't worked out for them, or maybe it has. Barkley's still going. Good bit of defending. They're all over the place. And finally, it falls to David De Gea. That's a little bit fortunate there for Manchester United. Mazur, nicely done. Fed out wide. It's lovely football. There's the finish. Once again, David De Gea straight at it. A good, solid opening 10 minutes here. For Everton, who know they have to start off strong. Anton Griezmann. Looking for Gaia. Back towards Griezmann. Gets there ahead of his man. Delivers that one in high, looping, looking for Memphis! Oh, that's poor goalkeeping by Joel. I mean, you can't get beaten at your near post. You really can't. A brilliant play down the left-hand side. Griezmann using his pace to get ahead of the defender. It's a high-looping ball. So they've got enough time to clear it. They don't. And Joel gets beaten. Godin. Towards Popper. United dictate the game. Guy decides to switch it. Bazur. 
looking for Memphis. Odegaard back towards Memphis. Beautifully done. Everton carved wide open. It's going to be Memphis. The deflected strike was lucky for Everton because I think that was heading in. Manchester United not giving Everton too much time on the ball at the moment. So Godin's been taken down. Ross Barkley. Odegaard back in the way. It's a beautiful ball over the top. And David De Gea with an unbelievable save. So 45 minutes left. No changes for either side. It's actually very even that first half. It's four shots apiece. Two on target. Wait a minute. Here's a chance for Usurdo. That's well played, Godi. And United just switching off there so slightly. You can't afford to do that against the likes of Paddy Saint Germain, that's for sure. And now here's a chance for Memphis. He is on side. Taliska wants it through the middle. He's going to find Taliska, and it was a little bit greedy. That's a nice pass from Memphis. Taliska here, he went for goal, didn't he? But he really should have just squared this to Griezmann for the tapping, and he's furious. Now play Bruni. To find Polpo, who's playing a little bit deeper today. Bit of a flip flat pipe. Memphis back to Pogba. It's a nicely worked move, a decent effort. Real venom in it. Well, it was straight out the keeper. Well, Memphis being replaced by Lukaku. And on comes Bastian Schweinsteiger. But he has found Teleska. And it's a beautiful pass. What will he do? He'll run straight into the defender. Absolutely terrible play there. But wait a minute, because it looks like Everton are playing around with it. Teleska manages to win it back. And then he finds uh, Kalahal, delivers that one high, Griezmann nearly got on the end of it. Popper's stolen it. But, uh, Errol Lennon brings it back, but wait a minute, no, here is going to be Popper! And that will seal it. And it's the Frenchman who makes it 2-0. So Everton make the change with five minutes to spare, but... Uh, it's going to be all too late now, isn't it? As uh, Wayne Rooney has found Lukaku. He's gone round the goalie. And that will be number three. Beautiful play by Romelu Lukaku. Scores against his former club. Doesn't care. He'll celebrate. And that is game, set and match. And there is the traditional pile-up celebration. Normally they save that kind of movement and that kind of fun and games for afterwards in the bathtub. But today... They're celebrating early. A shocking play by Everton. A lovely composure here. Just a little fake past the goalie. He managed to get actually got caught there, stayed on his feet. And then a little bit of a deflection as it rolls in the corner. And that is the full-time whistle. It has finished Everton nil, Manchester United 3. Goals from Memphis, Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku in the second half was enough to seal the deal four shots to eight Everton not having a chance in that second half they had the possession just didn't do anything with it man of the match was Memphis so the other results Chelsea beating West Ham Leeds won their match Arsenal won Man City won as well both narrowly Tottenham winning their game Liverpool 4-1 defeat against Swansea so I think we have six games to play we are nine points clear of Manchester City who are one point clear of Arsenal and Chelsea are three points clear of the Gunners and there's a massive gap between fourth and fifth and our goal difference is well, not too bad plus 38 bottom of the table Leeds Watford and Sunderland so Memphis you can see his stats now are exploding explosive powers up there finishing and kicking power Okay, so up next is Cardiff City in the FA Cup semi-final. I mean, this should be pretty straightforward. Makeda's actually at Cardiff, the former Man United man. But I think this is what we're going to go for. Everyone's pretty much buzzing. Uh, we're going to bring in Schneidlin today. We're also going to bring in Martial. We'll rest Griezmann. And we will start Lukaku up top ahead of Taliska back to the bench. But, yeah, that should be enough. Memphis is buzzing. He is uh, breaking through. So we've definitely got to play him. But yeah, Cardiff City, FA Cup. I'm not quite sure who's playing in the other one. I've got to sort of remind myself. So let's have a quick look. So elsewhere, it is Chelsea against Arsenal. So whatever happens, it should leave for an entertaining final. 
Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to lose this game. We're playing on the usual settings, as you guys know. Superstar 10-minute game. And Cardiff City, uh, somehow they've got to find a way of, of breaking through this United defence. And creating something. You just can't see it happening, though. Not with the way Man United are playing. And not with the way that uh, Cardiff City are defending. Absolutely horrendous there. Just parted like they weren't even there. And Paul Pompa is already having so much fun. He could make it 1-0. And he nearly did. Pompa. Absolutely majestic by Pompa. And he still has it as well. A step over. Too much. And he goes diving in. There's nothing wrong with that. Lukaku. Surely 1-0. And it is. And it's Romelu Lukaku with his second goal in as many games. Now oh, Cardiff know they've got a lot to do. A challenge from Pogba. Brilliant play by him. Still going. It's a tantalising run this by Pogba. But the finish completely fluffed it. Pogba again. Amiobi. Well, oh, wait a minute. Makeda's on site. Makeda. He is on side and Cardiff are level. Well, a one time United switch off. They get punished and it is by the former Manchester United man. Whittingham. Long ball over the top. The guy is there. Schneidlin. Lukaku. Rooney. Rooney wants some, some support, but he doesn't need it. It's going to be Rooney! It didn't last long, did it? I mean, Cardiff City, if you're not going to close him down, you might as well get off the field. It's terrible defending. So the lead lasted eight minutes. Well, what do you expect when you let them run through the middle? And wait a minute, once again, United at the back getting caught. Makeda, that's a beautiful ball. Oh, what a chance. Substitution for Cardiff City. The ball is floated in. It's looking for Berserk. It's Memphis. Oh, how's he missed? Dangerous looking ball. It's Berserk causing the problems, but Memphis here. I think it's because he was blindsided. He didn't know where the goal was, and he just turned and hit it. It's the wrong side of the post. Launches it out early. The referee has a look at his watch. Pompers had a fantastic game today. There's no question. Teleska looking for Rooney. Oh, Rooney's won it back. Can he finish it off? Oh, yes, he will. Odegaard will be there for the tapping. And that is 3-1. His first touch, Odegaard. He hasn't even seen the ball since he's come on. But it does prove dividend when you're there at the right place in the right time. And there's the full-time whistle. Manchester United will be heading to Wembley Stadium for their second consecutive FA Cup final in two seasons and there it is 13 shots to two Cardiff having one on target but they did put it away man of the match was Pogba along with Rooney so elsewhere it is Chelsea who are going into that final with a 1-0 win against Arsenal so there we have it ladies and gentlemen this time at least the final will be hopefully an exciting one We'll wait and see. I think last year's final was pretty poor because we weren't playing anyone good. But this year, hopefully it will be more of a challenge. So Guy has picked up marking, so should make our defence even more stable. So here is our monthly report. We had, uh, well, technically we had five games. So we simulated the Galatasaray one. Four matches, four wins. Lukaku with three goals. Rooney with two. Rooney up there with uh, top assists as well. Good ratings from Lukaku, Rooney and Pogba. We've been attacking a lot down the center, down the flanks. Apparently we like to play long pass counter-attack. Didn't know that. Like to play conservative frontline pressure. We've had 89% uh, pass completion. A little bit under what we normally average. It's around 91 or 2%. And generally, uh, oh, we like to play it backwards. <laughs> 90, well, not really. We like to play lateral passes and forward passes as opposed to, to playing sort of a Louis van Gaal style of football. So there we have it. All the lads playing well. 
Especially Rooney, to be honest. And here is the team of the month. We have four players at this time. Loris, Koscielny, Company, Guy, Alar, Matic, Kabai, Rooney, Pogba, Benteke and Lukaku. Benteke is always in it, along with Lam and Matic and Kabai. It's very similar players. So, coming up, we have the European qualifiers. I mean, we're going to simulate them. We're not worried too much about it. Uh, we've got the derby match against City. We've got Champions League as well. That's going to be good fun. So there we have it. We'll be back with the next episode shortly. Uh, we are just going to simulate these European qualifiers. Not worried about them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll try and complete this season somehow. Just bash through it. But until next time, take care.